that I'm so pretty or I'm so fine in these streets. Oh my God. Welcome back to White Pack by Tina Cherie and welcome to Love Making 101. And this Love Making 101 is going to be entitled Understanding. And don't forget to check me out on the Death Wobble podcast and to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's pray. Father God, we give you all the glory. We praise you. We magnify you. We thank you, sir. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for everything you've done, everything you're doing, everything you will do. But we thank you for our not right nows. We thank you for the correction. We thank you for convicting us. We thank you, God, for protecting us, my God. And Lord, we ask that you forgive us of sins we've committed knowingly and unknowingly, and we repent of sins committed by us and our ancestors. Lord, we pray that you open our eyes, open our ears, open our hearts, open our minds to receive the word that you would like us to hear today. Make me your personal conduit so I can say to your people what you want me to say. Me in the background, you in the foreground, this is about your glory. We thank you for the revelation, the confirmation, and the clarity and the tailor-made message in the name of Jesus. Amen. So turn with me in your Bibles to 1 Peter 3 and 7. Likewise, husbands, live with your wives in an understanding way, showing honor to the woman as she is the weaker vessel. Since they are heirs with you in the grace of life, with you, mm -hmm. so that your prayers may not be hindered. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to give you a little bit of statistics. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. My gold. Whew. I was going to originally name this like overcoming abuse, but I think I've spoken a lot about the abuse. Ecclesiastes 3.1 is not the time that let me tell you so when i went on the ncadv website it said one in three women and one in four men have experienced some type of physical violence from an intimate partner my gold what that basically just says to me is that we're not living with one another in an understanding way my gold my God, we are not living with each other in an understanding way. Instead, we just rather uh, physical violence, smack the biscuits out of somebody. That's what we would rather do. You ain't understanding me? Blah! And that's not what time it is. My God, it is not time for that. Um, so I was convicted yesterday because... Um, just thinking about, I'm not even going to call it my failed marriage. It, it failed before it even got started. Let's just be real. If the Holy Spirit, if God is not part of it, my God, if he is not number one, it will never work. My God, it will never work. If he does, my God, put his stamp of approval, oh my God, if he does not put his hand on it will never work. My God. Mm, God has already told you. God has already told you who you need to be with. So listen. Wait for everything to come into place. It's going to be Romans 8, 28. Everything will come together and work together. Okay? Okay. So... <laughs> Uh, back to our regularly scheduled program. Um, so he brought to me um, that I wasn't really trying to understand him. My goat. I wasn't trying to understand him. I'm like, he was different from me. I was different from him. And I wasn't trying to get any clarity or any understanding whatsoever on him. I was like, done. My God, I was done. I was like, I'm not trying to be interested in what you like. 
My God, I'm not trying to be interested in what you like. I could care less. My God, I could care less. I could care less. Uh, I'm not interested in video games. I'm. It's not my cup of tea. I'm like I'm. I'm interested on like how do I grow this business? I'm interested in how do I make this a success? A success. I'm interested in at the time I was like heavy in the PTA. I'm interested on how do we do this and raise this money for this school. I'm interested in being successful with this. I'm interested in leading people to victory. My God. I'm not interested in playing video games. My God. So guess what? I wasn't trying to understand. My God. Which is why, like I said, it's important for you to find your right fit in the first place. But in order for that to happen, my God, God has to be the focus point, my God, for it to ever work. You might be like, oh my God, we don't believe in God whatsoever. And it's working. That's great for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, that you found something that works for you. But for the rest of us, it's not that simple. It's not. It's not. And we need something extra. We need some extra sauce on there to get us to be in the right spot with the right person in the first place. My God. But anyway, so he convicted me of this. <laughs> he was like, you wasn't trying to understand that man. He wasn't. But get it right the first time. The first time I tell you that's not right for you, that's not gonna work for you, the first time, listen. The first time. I know you think, mm, but I'm so pretty or I'm so fine in the streets, my God. I know you're thinking, oh my God, my body is together, my God. Let me tell you about that. The hourglass, the hourglass is, let me tell you. But God's like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. because he searches hearts. He searches hearts. Is your heart in alignment with God? Is it? Is your heart right? Do you want nothing but the best? Are you going to help build? My God. Are you going to tear it down? Because it's all about you in these streets. My God. When I wasn't trying to understand my soon to be its husband, when I wasn't trying to understand him, it was about me at that point. It was about me. Because I'm like, you know what? You're not making me happy. Um, you're paying attention more to this video game than you are your own family, your children even. We feel like we, we don't matter to you, that we're not important. So guess what? Check out. I'm not trying to understand anything you're trying to say to me. I'm not. In fact, when you start an argument, <laughs> I'm not trying to understand it. I'm out. I'm out. And God's like, that's not really right. So what do you need to have understanding in your relationship? And then if your relationship is not from God, and you'll know whether it's from God or not, because if it's from God, ooh, it's going to bring you closer. My God, it's going to bring you closer to God, to the source. It's going to bring you closer. If it's not, mm, Kids act about it. But anyway, I'm going to link in the description one of the life giving messages from Bishop Kevin Foreman and Harvest Church. It will bless you, it will change your life, it will inspire you. And thank you so much. This is such an honor. And shalom.